Hi you guys, it's Beth here and today I'm sharing with you my last um, or it's honestly my second to last wax collection video because my other one will be of the samples that I have. So this one is just kind of like a mod podge of all different vendors. Just vendors that I don't have enough to make a whole video about and I just wanted to combine like all of them into one big video. So some of the vendors that I have to talk about are Teddy Bees, Southbound Candle Co., Zape, That Smell Good Shop, Ava's Country Covered, which is now Traverse City Wax Company, and then um, the Melted Moose. And then I think the others are like ones that I have just one from those vendors, um, like one or two that I received in a um, like random act of kindness from a company that I've never tried before. So that's really exciting. And also before I get started, I'm just going to show you guys these two. So there are two scents from Rose Girls that I actually uh, had like sitting on my, um, sitting on the top of my dresser that I totally forgot about for my Rose Girls wax collection. So I'm just going to show them to you guys real quick before I get into all the other vendors. Um, so this is not part of my Rose Girls Wax Collection video, but they are both part of my Rose Girls Wax Collection. So this first one is Apple Fritter, and then this next one is Carbs. The notes are cookies, bread, and donuts. So, so sorry for leaving those out in my last video. And then next, the first vendor I'm going to talk about um, for this video is going to be Teddy Bees. And which I do have, I placed an order from Teddy B's from her last pre-order um, that ships out sometime this summer. So I will have more Teddy B's coming. But for now, this is what my Teddy B's stash is. Um, so this one is I Heart Vanilla. The description is creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, marshmallows, and magnolias boardwalk marshmallow. Um, and then I have Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies, also from Teddy Bees. This one is Sweet Sugar, Buttery Shortbread, Buttercream Frosting, Vanilla, and Sugar Cookie Dough. Then I also have a souffle. This one is Strawberry Pound Cake and Witches Be Crazy. So all these first ones I'm showing you are the souffle size. Strawberry Pound Cake and Witches Be Crazy. This one is Birthday Cake, Pecan Waffles, Sugar Cookie Dough, and a Pinch of Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla layered with Strawberry Pound Cake. And then this one is Coffee Bean a la Mode. The notes are Coffee Bean Ice Cream, Vanilla Waffle Cone, Whipped Cream, and Caramel. And then in the, um, what are these called? I think chunk bags, but now she has it called something else. These ones are all three in the same exact scent. So there's all three of them. This is the scent Frankish Princess. I love this, but I really need to like use these up because I've been holding on to them for way too long. The notes are patisserie, which is warm donuts, baked bread, powdered sugar, and a touch of spice blended with butter, uh, blackberry butter pecan cookies. That is butter pecan waffles, blackberry jam, and butter cookies. All right, the next one that I'm going to share with you is Ava's Country Covered, which is now actually Traverse City Wax Company. I haven't ordered from um, Lindsay since the name change of her company, but um, just so you know, all these labels are going to say Ava's Country Covered, but it's called Traverse City Wax Company, and I love, love, love um, Traverse City Wax Company's wax. It is so good and it just has the longest shelf life. So this one is actually gifted from Lexi. Her channel here on YouTube is Two Quick Wicks and it is in the scent Cinnamon Chip Snickerdoodle and I'm very excited to try it. It's in these little heart-shaped waffles which I think are too cute. And then I have, um, these are the paw print packs and I have four of them in this scent and this one is caramel cinnamon latte. I really like this scent and for these ones you can put like half of a paw print in your warmer and it will throw amazing. So like such a good cost for you know wax that you don't need a whole lot of and then also this one this is the smiley faces kind of the same thing as the paw print but they're in 
smiley faces instead of paw prints, but it's a four pack. Same thing. I can cut the smiley faces in half and get a wonderful performance. And this scent is one of my favorites. I have two uh, smiley face packs in cranberry citrus. I actually have more, but they are in my July melting basket, which I have already pulled. And I guess I forgot to preface this video with none of the wax here includes any wax from these vendors that are part of my June melting basket, July melting basket, or August melting basket. Those melting baskets have already been pulled and I'm not going to tear them all apart. So if you want to see the stuff that I have from these vendors uh, that are, are not included in this video, then I would love for you to come back to my channel to see my melting basket videos. And then of course, June melting basket video is already up and I will link it in the description box below along with all of my other collection videos. So just so you know. Um, okay, the next vendor that I'm going to talk about is Rainbow Melts. And these are all from 2021 because I just haven't placed a new order since then. Um, so this one is in the scent Yummy. The notes are creamy zucchini, sweet sugar cookies, and frosted birthday cake. And these I've never tried before. Um, the next one is Cider Lane Frosted Animal Crackers. This one is gooey caramel apple cider and frosted animal crackers. Then I have Dunkin' Pumpkin. This one is pumpkin cider donuts, pumpkin caramel latte, and whipped cream. I have the scent Feel and Fall. This one is cranberry woods and leaves type. Love leaves from Bath and Body Works. This one is Casper. The notes are vanilla bean marshmallow and vanilla ice cream and spearmint. So excited to get to these in the fall time. Um, strawberry pound cake and pumpkin pecan waffles. And then the last one from Rainbow Melts is sweet Amish bread, pumpkin, and Starbucks coffee. So very, very excited. And now I'll talk about Midnight Daydream Wax Company, which I have only one from um, Harrison, and he is no longer selling wax at the moment. This one is in the scent Zoltar, another great fall one. I'm so excited to give a try. Caramel nut clusters, churro cart, and woodsy earthy notes. Just smells like the epitome of fall. So good. Um, next up is Southbound Candle Co. So first off, I have this bakery bag, which she typically has in her pre-orders. This one is roasted coffee beans, buttery pastry dough, Creamy vanilla custard, sweet cream, and confectioner's sugar. Kim um, from Canada Kim, she always talks about this scent. So I wanted to pick it up and I still have yet to try it. I really need to prioritize giving that one a try soon. Um, and then also from Southbound, I have the scent White Christmas. I love, love, love this one, you guys. So minty and good. Peppermint, spearmint, cotton candy, and vanilla cream. It's a favorite. Another favorite of mine, this one is Grinch Cake. It is gingerbread, cake pops, frosted sugar cookies. Another favorite of mine is Elf Treats. Candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup with effervescent spicy soda pop bubbles. And then the last one from Southbound, this one's also a favorite. This is Mistletoe Cocoa. And the notes are sweet ripe berries, white chocolate cocoa, and a tiny hint of coconut. And so that's it from Southbound. Next, I'll show you guys from Zape. So the first one from Zape that I have, this one is Caramel Praline Latte. Then I have Apple Pickin. The notes are Orchard Trees, Autumn Leaves, and Freshly Picked Apples. And Halloween Town. This one is Caramel Cider, Autumn Leaves, and Haunted Houses. Another one that will, all three of those will be good for fall. So that's exciting. I cannot wait for fall, y'all. Um, from Yankee Candle, this is a little sample that I made for myself in the scent Poolside Oasis. I like using this one in the bathroom. I have one from the Melton Moose. This one is Blueberry Cobbler. It was part of a custom order that I did back in 2021. Then from Anna, from Anna Nation is her wax... Uh, her YouTube channel name and um, she sent me chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream from TTFN Scents. 
and super appreciative of that. And then also from Animation from A Great Scent LLC. This one is in November and very appreciative of that as well. And then I have two from Lexi. So this one is Salt Mountain Melts by The Fireplace. And the notes are chestnut, clove, smoky wood, vanilla, and neroli. And then from The Bathing Garden from Lexi, I have Candied Caramel Pears. And oh, no notes on this one. So um, thank you so much, Lexi and Anna, for the wax goodies. I always, always love to try new vendors and everything. So very excited for both of those. Okay. Um, then last but not least, because I love this vendor, this is That Smell Good Shop. So I have cupcakes at Tiffany's. This one is vanilla cupcake, buttercream, and a hint of chocolate. I have biscuits and jam. This one is fresh bread and blackberry jam. And these are her 36 packs. And you can get them if you do made to order. And then this one is Gadzooks. The notes are sweet red cherries and zucchini bread. And then I have some of the little scent chalk cups, which I think she is not doing anymore, I heard. So that's a little sad because I like them, but she's doing like two packs of the little cubes like this, just packs of two. And so that kind of is like the same idea. You know, you get to sample scents and see what you like, what you don't like and stuff like that. I think that's a really good way to start um, off if you are new to that smell good shop is just get like one of every scent that sounds somewhat appealing to you in a two pack and give it a try. And then you start to figure out like what scents you like from Wendy and what scents you don't. So Okay, this one, Celtic Moon Spice. The notes are cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. And I have frosted raspberries. The notes are black raspberries, peppermint, and vanilla. And then I have two in this scent, which is my absolute, one of my favorite uh, bedroom scents. It's my favorite bedroom scent from that Smell Good Shop. And it is called Pinhead. And the notes are lavender, mint, and mallow. So that one is always a winner in my book. And you guys, I actually have decided um, no wax sample video for my collection this time because I only have this one bag of wax samples that I can find. So I'm actually just going to include them here in this video. Um, so here goes nothing. These are all wax samples that I have received from vendors. So this one is Destination Wax Tobacco Vanilla. It is tobacco flowers and leaves, tonka beans, spices, and vanilla Tom Ford type. That one will be great in the bedroom. This next one from Destination Wax is cranberry pumpkin. Baked cranberries and pumpkin, sweet, rich, and lightly tart. Inspired by the Bath and Body Works candle. And then also from Destination Wax, I have zucchini bread berry. This one is zucchini bread made with sweet huckleberries, blueberries, plums, rich cream, and spices. So I think some samples are included in um, the videos where I actually show the collections of these specific vendors. And some of them I just had in this bag, which I ended up not going through when I pulled stuff from each vendor, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure why, because I know I have more samples than just this. Um, from that Smell Good shop, I have the scent honey buttered rolls and this one is dinner rolls spiced honey butter and then the rest it looks like are from l3 so i have espresso this one i'm actually gonna pull for right now because i would love to blend it with the lavender espresso candle from bath and body works so i'm gonna actually put that one in my current melting basket um to warm and then I have pumpkin pecan waffles, espresso, sugar cookie royale. I have Noche Buena from L3. I have Tree Cat Catastrophe from L3. And then the very last one from L3, this one is Plum Tart, 
which I also have a um, clamshell in this scent. So that is everything, y'all. My whole entire wax collection. I will link all the videos um, in the description box down below. Let me know in the comments down below which of these vendors from this video is your favorite. So I showed Zape, Rainbow Melts, Teddy Bees, The Melton Moose, um, Ava's Country Cupboard, which is now Traversity Wax Company, Southbound Candle Co., That's Smell Good Shop, and Zape. So tons of different options. If you could only buy from one of those vendors, which one would you choose and why? Leave it in the comments down below. I'm so excited to hear your answers. I will see y'all next time. And as always, make sure you stay positive till then. Bye.